If you probably saw the introduction this video and it said higher voltage on the danger, you know what this means. This here could probably kill you if you don't take special precaution. Anyway, what it is is we have 29 volt batteries. You may think a 9 volt battery could be be so innocent and so not harmful. But if you have 20 of them put, put in series together, then that's different. It's a lot different. It's like a day night day change. Because when you have 20 of them in series, that's 9 times 20. That's 180 volts. Put out to the... I got these 9 volt batteries off of eBay. And they work pretty well. They're not... They're probably a cheap one since I pay a cheap price for it. They add heavy duty. And it means it's going to probably be just like crap quality as like Dollar Tree batteries are going to be. But, but hey, for, for a price for, for, for if you get 20 of them, that's a good deal. Let's measure the voltage, shall we? I have a meter right there, so it's easy to weed with this new meter. So I put, it's probably negative, but who cares? We all know, I know if it's negative, it's still, it's still it's positive. 196.2 volts. That's about 16 more volts than what I expected to see. So why he sees why is it not 180? Why is it 196.2? Well, it's because some of these batteries in series do not have nine volts on it. They have a little bit more, like 9.5 or 9.8, whatever volts. Almost five, almost 10 volts for one of them. And when it adds from series, they all add up. Now. Here's, a, here's something I should tell you about. If you have 20 batteries in series, that means you'd have the currents can go down by 20 times more than what it would with just one. I think, if I'm correct. Because in, in these batteries provide out, uh, in, the batteries have an equivalent series resistance. Now, if this was a capacitor, this would be different because capacitors don't have that. Well, they do, but, but it's really low. And when they charge up, they, they they provide high current for such a low, such, such a small time. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to try breaking some of these, burning some resistors up. And what we'll do is, after that, we'll try, let's see if we can light a lamp with this. I have no idea what's going to happen. We'll take it outside because if you especially light a lamp with it, it might draw so much current on it. It might these batteries might not be able to take it, and it might explode with the, with the voltage you have on it. So it's good to take it outside. Who knows? It, 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 I I doubt it. Doubt they're gonna do anything like that. But you never know. Well, because these batteries are never made to have twenty of them in series like this. Nothing, no product in the world will have 20, it will take 29 volt batteries. Anyway. So let's go take, take it outside and put some resistors on there. We'll have three resistors and we'll see what happens. Then we'll come back in and measure it again and see, what, see how much voltage dropped. Now, the thing is with these batteries, you're not find out very much current. These bad nine volt batteries don't have very good amp hour ratings. The fact that the lowest amp hour ratings of batteries you can find that are in that that are in the well, it's probably lower. It's probably coin cell batteries. It's probably the lowest you can go. Those are ridiculously low coin cell batteries. But nine volt batteries are the ones that are probably above the one better than the coin cell. It's probably only one place, only, only one, one, one place better, one step better than the, the coin cell ones. And it comes apart too. I have, uh, I need these 9 volt batteries. You can connect them all in series like this. Don't have to buy no special, special battery connector because these snaps on them will snap in, in series like this and make it look like this cool neat pattern. I just probably saw on my Twitter video, on my Twitter, I put, put yesterday, I posted something, I was going to make a video yesterday, but it waned. So, 
And I didn't want to do it inside because it might explode or do something like that. It might leak. You never know. With what with hundred with hundred ninety volts going through these nine volt batteries, it may do that. You never know. They might heat up as well. You never know. Now it's not going to be the best power source yet because it's nine volt batteries are. Or have low amp hours, just like, just like I said before, they have very low amp hours. That means that if and it probably goes and, and probably that probably means current sourcing is going to be lower than two. Now, if this these were double A's or triple A's that had hundreds of them, it would be different because double A's or triple A's have higher amp hour rating, way higher than nine volt batteries. That's why I said nine volt batteries like the is like the one step better than coin cell batteries. Anyway, let's go take it outside. Okay, I got it hooked got it out here that I hooked up. It'll be just as a day. I probably can't hardly really see them, but it's probably move closer to the camera day that I are. They shoot resistors. There's a switch here. I put a switch on it so I can be safely connected to disconnect the batteries from it. Now you know I took it outside, especially when you're doing this with it, you should take it outside. It's not only if it this is it this may not blow up or anything, but these resistors will get will 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 get real hot. They'll they can explode or cause a fire if they're inside. So I'm taking it outside to prevent that from happening. Why 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 those resistors are they're not made to do that, but the thing is when you have high voltage and you're having it overpowering resistor, it will do that. It could possibly do that. They do have some flame proof resistors. I hope these are not flame proof ones. I don't think they are. There's some metal film ones that I got that I'm selling in my store. So I don't think they are. They were cheap anyway. Anyway, let's get going. Look at it. It's lighted. Look at it. Heat up. There it goes. Oh, it smells. And it looks like I didn't do nothing to the other one. I wonder if that's a 7.4.7k resistor that didn't do nothing to it. With the other resistors, they've burned up. I fill in the battery pack, it's not even warm. But that dime, but you just saw that resistor heat up and just turn into flames. Now, we'll measure it, see if, the, see if there's a resistance. Uh, of on the one that didn't blow it up, but let's see if it did anything. So these are not flame proof resistors as you just saw. They're not even warm. Little white stuff coming off of them. And it smells. Let's go take it in and measure it up. Okay, I'm back inside now. Got my meter here. We'll hook it up. I think it, I think it dropped, dropped down about 10 volts or so. But it's still a good rating. So it's still, still, it's still like 9 volts each per battery. It only dropped down a little. Yeah, 90 volts on it. So it dropped down about 6 volts. We just lost 6 volts on it. So we're doing good still. We, we could try to hook up a lamp to it and see what happens now. But first, I want to measure out the resistors, make sure that the one that didn't fly, if it fried or not, if it has still a trace little continuity between it. Anyway, we'll measure it from. Hang on. Okay, I hooked it up. It must have fried it. Because look at that. Even though I didn't do nothing on the outside, as you can see on the meter, there's infinite amount of resistance, and I know I didn't put anything higher than 20 kilo ohms. Yeah, 20 kilo ohms. I only put something at 4.7, so that might be the 4.7 resistor. That's I think it is the way the color code looks like. It might be 4.7, and that might have been too much resistance, and it didn't do anything. But the batteries took took a beating. They took a beating pretty well. I I'd say that 
Because they last day they still only lost like six votes or so. And 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 it was and and it's not even below. It's not even below the 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 way we expected voltage you expect from these batteries being connected in series. Okay, now I'm gonna try to light a lamp. Where well, I have this light bulb, and we'll try using the one that's in it if it's. If it's if it's incandescent, it has to be incandescent. Okay, here's the the ball. I had to change it. Got to go find another one. The one I had was dead, was blown, so I couldn't use it. So I found this 40 watt one. I think it's for the refrigerator, and it seems light. And it and it see through is a good deal because it might not be that bright when when it lights up because it's such a low current source. House should definitely has more more current than what those batteries have, because like I said, in series resistance will limit. Okay, got hooked up, and let's see what's doing. It's not doing very much now. Let's try to turn the switch. Look at it glow. It does light with it. Hallelujah! Look at that light. It's not very very, very bright, but it's lighting up pretty well. We'll measure the batteries when we when, when it drains. It should probably drain pretty soon because there's not that much power on it, I don't think. 40 watts, that's like 300 and so many milliamps on 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 it. Might be a little bit higher. Like 400, so it's 180. Lights are pretty well to those batteries. Probably have the phone upside down. Twelve is been about a few minutes now. It's been to light up. Feels what hot. This looks like look at it. Light up that light bulb. That's the going. It's going down because the dawn ain't very bright. I don't think if I'm correct. If I do, if I'm looking at it right. Yeah, I think so. Yep, it's almost done. It's dimming. And I think that's about it. We'll turn it off. Put it back on. Okay. Well, let's go measure the batteries to see how well they're drained. Okay, I'm going to measure the batteries now. I think it dropped down about, dropped down to 160 volts, which is a little bit, is only like 60, 70, 80, about 200 volts less than what it, what it should be if it's, if it's fully charged. 161 volts. 161 volts, I mean. So that's about it with the batteries. Well, that was amazing. Amazing video about this. So if you get batteries like this, you can do this for it. And you can light, you can light a lamp with it on it. Because lamps, they don't, with these incandescent lights, they don't need alternating current to light up. They Because basically they're just a filament. So, so even direct current will be able to light it. Well, I guess for for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.